Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. His name is Mike Brenner. We are the Odds Gobble from SportsbookReview.com, SBRodds.com. We're talking with uh, Joe Gavazzi from WinningSportsAdvice.com. We're talking about uh, a bunch of college basketball games that don't have lines yet. They're coming up uh, this Friday, and the first one we're going to talk about is Rutgers and Seton Hall, of course, an in-state uh, rivalry. Always a big uh, matchup here, and this is just a matter of, of uh, you know, will these two teams' uh, ATS trends that they've shown so far this year continue? Uh, Seton Hall it has not been a good bet, right? Three, no. six, and one against yep. the spread. Rutgers, totally the opposite. They're four, one, and one against mm -hmm. the spread so far on the year. So if we expect that to continue, Rutgers might be the play, but we don't know what the line is, so uh, it's hard to make a call right now. But those are the uh, ATS trends so far for both these teams, Mike Brenner. Yeah, it's interesting. It should be a good matchup. But, yeah, Seton Hall disappointing again ATS-wise, and uh, they better shake out of that pattern and I know they don't care about it mm -hmm. but that team just has a lackadaisical effort at times mm -hmm. and I think it's really catching up to them now Rutgers if you're four one and one against the spread obviously you're bringing it both sides on the road at home and uh, I think the consistency is there I would probably lean but again without that 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 spread it's hard to really tap into that pistol yeah absolutely I mean some of those clubs those covers were uh, close they lost by 12 at Miami as a 14 and a half point uh, road dog this okay. is obviously a small sample size Joe Gavassi what's your take on this matchup well, first of all, we're going to look at this game coming in somewhere around the low teens for a number, 12, 13, 14, I believe. And the key to this matchup is that that is a full 10 points less than where this line would have been opening week. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because of an AFP concept, which we've talked about over and over again in college football, and it applies to this point in time in the college basketball season. In college football, you remember when any team has a net away from the point spread number that combines with their opponents away from the point spread number of 50 or more points, we look to take the value with the adjusted line. Such is the case here with a total of minus 60 net AFP that favors Seton Hall as a result of their negative point spread record versus the Rutgers positive point spread record. In other words, the line has been over-adjusted downward, and now is time to step in on Seton Hall. Mm. The name to know for Rutgers, Steve Pickell, former Stony Brook Seawolves coach, led him to 20 wins six of the last seven years, and is turning around the culture at Rutgers, as well as the defensive presence of the Scarlet Knights. They may not be a force in the, in the Big Ten this year, but look for them in the years ahead. They've certainly got off to a great start and caught the attention of many of the nation's sports bettors. Seton Hall, well, Seton Hall just keeps plugging along under Willard. You know, they've got two good guys out there, Kadeem Carrington at the point, and as well, Anthony Delgado on the inside. I like this team. They're at their best coming off a double-digit home win. And did you know that in the month of December, just like so many coaches who prepare their teams for January, Seton Hall is 25-12 and 12 against the spread in the month of December. I like this value spot on Seton Hall, who will not be taking Rutgers lightly, despite blowing them out by easily double digits last year. We lay the reduced number with Seton Hall in this contest. All right, Joe Gavazzi wow. expecting a, a, a line, low a teens. favorite spread in the low teens for Seton Hall and expecting some value with Seton Hall. Yep, last year they did beat him by 30 points, so uh, yeah. maybe uh, we might see something similar here. And another cover, interesting analysis. Right? It is. I like, I like what he also said about Seton Hall coming off of a double-digit cover, all right, going into the next game. I, I like that. That speaks volumes. And, yeah, Rutgers, that's a program that's definitely under construction, but uh, my thoughts are exactly what Joe said. That coach is definitely going to do a good job and uh, it takes time anything takes time but I think uh, he might be right with Seton Hall Pistol Pete I'm going to look deeper into that one all right thanks so much Joe thank you Joe research before you bet be sure to check out SPR picks for the best game predictions breakdowns and much much more